All right, wide receiver Tyreek Hill will start the next game with X Factor activated. That's going to be a nice little boost right there. Remain undefeated and beat the Cardinals. Prove it or lose it, which, again, we're taking on the 10-0 Arizona Cardinals. The best other player in the league, Kobo. He's the number one in the NFC. We're number one in the AFC. The biggest game of the season. I'm a little pissed off. I can't lie. Just played another game. Felt like the game didn't give me a chance. As it always does in Madden, right? That's just the way the game plays. We have to bounce back and we have to do it right now in week 11 against the Cardinals. I want to go undefeated for the first time in Madden 22. So we're actually running a new playbook here. Well, same playbook, still Giants. We're actually running the live version. They actually just updated it. And guess what they added? They added Trips tight end and it's actually very good. They added a very good Trips tight end. It's not as good as like Patriots playbook, but it's, it's damn close. We got some really awesome plays in here. We're definitely going to be mixing it in and get some of these good opponents. <laughs> Chanel Jr., let's go, man. Come on. Nice catch. I wasn't expecting to get any more yards than that right there, but the DB just dumbs out because we're playing Madden 22, man. Of course the DB dumbed out. We take the seven-point lead. We got to get a stop early, man. I'm tired of playing these super close games. Why is Tyreek Hill playing left guard for me on extra points? What is going on here? My favorite part about this is now we get to play Kyler Murray with Escape Artist. Yay. You know what? If you want to run the ball 35 times this game for five yards of carry, you got it. I'm only worried about shutting down Kyler Murray this game. All right. Well, that's just not possible. I'm in, I mean, I'm an idiot for even thinking that that's even remotely possible. I'm just an idiot. I'm just stupid. I'm just so naive for even thinking that that could possibly happen. Just to, I can't, dude. I'm about to give up Madden. I really am. After the day I've had, the last couple of days I've had playing Madden, dude, I just, I cannot, I can't take escape artists anymore. It is the most ridiculous thing they've ever put in the game. It is just miserable to play against. You just, I just, you cannot keep the quarterback in the pocket, bro. You just you can't do it. It is just, it's just every game, dude. I hate complaining, but like it is every game you play. Ultimate team, CFM, if you just play escape artist, it is just double team the end and just sprint and no one has half a chance of keeping up. You can't contain them. Contains are completely busted. Quarterback spies don't work. Literally nothing works. You have to sit there and just take it and just hope your opponent messes up. There is no control in this game on defense. Wrong with the quarterback. Every play, just sprint. Dot right there. Come on. Oh my goodness, that was a bit of a floater. It seemed like a, just a dart right to my tight end up the seam. I like the route combo. And then it seemed like right as it got to him, it did like a little like... I don't, know. I don't know what that was. I don't know if I'm tripping or what, but. Oh, man. I mean, I stepped up too far. God dang it, man. How many mistakes right now? Dot, man. Come on. Laser. 
Great pocket. I mean, he just double juke and then spawned right into a user hit stick. Fumble the damn ball, man. Don't let him break the tackle, man. What? I'm gonna, I wanna freaking karate kick the dude at EA who decided that uh, whoever was responsible for the run commit feature. Like, seriously, it's gotta be the worst thing ever. It has never, ever worked. Good hit, come on. Oh, wow. What a throw. Oh, that's really bad to give that up. So close. Keep him in the pocket, bro. Just cannot keep the fucking goddamn quarterback in the pocket in this game. It is impossible, dude. I mean, I I'm containing, I'm blitzing a slot corner off that side, and he just runs by them, and they come in free, and they're so unbelievably stupid that they just run right by him. They run to where the quarterback started instead of where he's running to. I'm literally just gonna chuck it every play to reek. I do not care anymore. Just, I mean, we burned him by fucking 10 steps, dude. It is just, like, we are just clear of him by five yards. Put some goddamn power in your throw, you fucking pussy. I mean, you look like a fucking girl, Trevor Lawrence, and you fucking throw it like one too. In this episode, we are taking on the 10-1 Houston Texans. I know we're no longer undefeated, right? We lost, not really in heartbreaking fashion to the Cardinals, but we just got battered, man. We got clobbered. We weren't in the right mindset. We needed that loss to turn things around right here. And this is a big game, right? The loss to the Cardinals doesn't mean a lot outside of losing our perfect record. This is really going to be the game that decides whether or not we get the one seed in the AFC, get the first round by. So with that being said, let's go ahead, deal with some things, jump into the game, and we're moving on to 12 and one. Now we have a message here about a tandem breakout on offense. Now I don't know if this is from last week. Now we also have a press conference here about a quarterback dual marquee QB matchup this week between Deshaun Watson and Trevor Lawrence. Who are you expecting to step up? Well, it's obviously going to be Trevor Lawrence. I don't know how I'm going to stop Deshaun Watson with a skate artist. So, Trevor Lawrence, it's going to be on you, man, to score every single drive. Beat the Texans and throw four-plus touchdowns with Trevor Lawrence. Okay. Achievable as well. All right, we're about to knock out some upgrades. Check out his roster and jump in the game. I got this crazy hoodie on, man. Shout out my girlfriend over there. Say something. Hi. She said hi. All right. I got the crazy hoodie on. I mean, look how deep this hoodie goes. I mean, we're taking Hoodie K Mac to whole different levels here. All right, so we got some upgrades here. Cor Cordrea Tankersley. Morale minus two. Why is our morale so bad? Oh no, that's not good. I don't know if that really affects any major stats, but ouch. I didn't realize that loss against the Cardinals hurt that bad. I mean, we're 11 and 1. Like, how can the morale be this down in the dumps, man? DJ Moore getting an upgrade. His morale is actually up. Awareness, deep route running, plus one speed for DJ Moore, man. Up to 94. 94 and DJ Moore, man. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I got some crazy rhymes out here. Creed Humphrey going up to an 89 overall. Some really nice upgrades to start, man. Anytime you get speed on a DB or a wide receiver, you are definitely feeling good about it. Trey Smith getting an upgrade here as well, going up to an 83. So the offensive linemen really aren't that exciting. 
Oh, we get an upgrade here with Storm Duck, man. Our rookie safety morale is just down. In the this guy looks like a black TD Barrett. Tell me I'm wrong, man. Tell me I'm wrong. Plus one acceleration, plus one zone coverage for Storm Duck. He's been playing really well for us so far this season. Tyreek Hill getting an upgrade here. He's already a 99. I mean, what could we possibly get on Reek? That would even make us excited. Nothing, really, honestly. 99 speed, he catches everything. He's got great abilities. Let's go ahead, auto upgrade the rest of these players. All right, so Texans roster, he's got Deshaun Watson at quarterback, 85 speed. Teron Armstead, the superstar left tackle. Brandon Cooks is X Factor with 94 speed. Laramie Tunsil is a superstar center. Jesse Bates, 89 speed at safety with abilities. Justin Reed, one of my favorite all-time Madden players right here. The new Kansas City Chief, 93 speed, six foot one. He's absolutely nasty. He has three offensive line abilities. Okay, Patrick Peterson, 91 speed with abilities. Darius Williams, only five foot nine. I'm not really too worried about him, I'm gonna be honest. But this roster looks nice. If we sort by speed, I wanna see who we have to worry about as far as burners go. Mikhail Wright, I don't know if I pronounced that right. I don't know if it's Michael or Mikhail. 95 speed, 511, Brandon Cooks, Tavier Thomas. All right, there's just a lot of crazy names on this roster. All right, man. Ja Main Martin. Okay, so not a ton of speed. Some some decent players there with wheels. Some some good overall players as well. But obviously, it doesn't really match up to our roster. So with that being said, let's go ahead, jump into the game, and move on to 12-1. Nice little dot to start. Chenault, man, up to the 44. Come on, baby. On the run. That's a beam from Trevor Lawrence. We hit him with some nasty stick work. Oh, my God. That was absolutely filthy. Put him on TikTok, man. And DJ Moore is into the end zone. I'm cracked. Deep in the hoodie. The better the stick work. Oh, come on, Alley guy, put your hands out, bro. <laughs> we know, we know what we're going up against, man. We know we're going up against the skate bars, all right? Let's not get mad about it. All right, I'm gonna get mad about it. I mean. How do you get out of the pocket on that, man? How do you stop someone from just running all over the place? It's so brain dead. <sighs> like, y'all blocking a tight end. We're blocking six versus five. The guy comes in completely free. Like, this is why you need a skate artist, man. Like, this guy can just sprint outside of a blitz, and I gotta sit here in the pocket and just. Like, ah, it's just silly. It's a touchdown, though. Because guess what? We got Tyree Kill, baby. We got Tyree Kill. You better put a safety in the middle of the field. All right? He's 99 speed, man. We don't use him the way we probably should be, but I did right there, okay? Give me some credit. This might be a high-scoring game. That whole, like, message or that whole objective we had to get where we have to score four touchdowns might be pretty easy. Might be pretty easy. I need to stop this guy, though, man. We got to keep him in the pocket. That's my only goal. It's just, it's just, there's just no skill. There's just no skill involved. At, at, at all. It is literally just snap the ball and just sprint. Like, it, it was perfect defense. Nothing was open. We contained him, and it's just, it's just a corny ability, bro. Gotta get me to Madden 23, man. Reek up top. Oh, that was a bad throw. Oh, it was a wide open touchdown. Maybe I didn't wait long enough, or I don't know. Reek just like didn't get enough separation right there. Dot. There you go. Reek. Come on, baby. All the way to touchdown to Reek again. He's just giving it to me, man. Come on, boys. Let's block. Come on. Ah. 
Ah, maybe he could have racked that. We'll take the guaranteed catch up to the three, though. Nice pass, man. Let's go, Trevor. Hmm. Lock. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Wow, that's an absolute Owen right there. Well, oh man, it just never really stops, does it? Uh, I mean, it's just wide open, man. How is Reed dropping that? It's a really tough break, man. Oh, that is... Manned up, and we got a zone right there, man. Come on, bro. I, I hate this. I hate playing this guy. It is just run with the quarterback and throw a wheel every play. Like, this is the most toxic dude I've ever played in my entire life on Madden. It is utterly insane how someone can play like this in every game all year long. Come on, man. Keep him in the pocket. Look what happens. <laughs> Oh, look, he throws a wheel. Just... <sighs> it's just so bad. It's so bad. It just is. It's just terrible. Nope, look, two wheels. Wheel, 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 wheel. Throw with the run. Like, literally, I, I, I hate playing this guy. He is trash at Madden. He plays like an absolute dickhead. Nice read, man. Just... Unbelievable. <laughs> Jalen Ramsey, bro. Put your hands out. You got Acrobat, dude. Oh, look. Two wheel routes. Oh, look. He throws it right at me again. It is just... It is... It makes me want to freaking just put my head through the wall, dude. It really does. Oh look, two wheel routes. I I I hate this kid. Just want to give him a touchdown so I can get the ball back. Honestly. All right, breaks a couple tackles, but at least we get the ball back here. We gotta get some seven points, man. I just, I'm trying not to get mad at this dude, but I mean, it's just, it's just, I just hate the way he plays. I really just, I hate it. Oh, I was hoping that was out of bounds. Ooh, that hurts. Bad animation, we gotta get out of bounds. Well. What a terrible, terrible animation. Come on, Reek. We gotta burn right here, Reek. We have to burn right here, Reek. Wow. I mean, this is just a brutal, brutal game, man. One of the most brutal games of man I've ever played in my life. What are you throwing, dude? What are you throwing, bro? If it's not a wheel, you, you, you're you literally blind. Give me the rock, dude. Okay. It's open. Chenault, run him over. Bro, Chenault, come on, man. Up to the seven. Now I'm mad, bro. Now I'm mad. Now I really want to win. Reed, come on, man. That's a laser right there. I got, I'm jumping the gun just a little bit too much this game. The play right before half, I got to wait maybe half a second. I was just worried we couldn't get it off of the pressure. Right there, I think I maybe waited, or I didn't wait enough. 
I, I think I maybe passed it half a second too early. Now, obviously, it ended up being open, but a little bit scary right there. Tyreek Hill goes up and gets it, though, with the high ball in the back of the end zone. Love to see it. I need Reek to make that catch, though, man, early on. We, we'd be up two possessions right now, but it's fine, man. We're going to another stop. Just keep him in the pocket. Take away the wheel routes. Make him actually play Madden, dude. There you go. See, just make him actually make reads. That's all we can ask for, man. Okay, we can live with that. See? We got a ton of pressure right there. We made him make a read, and we can live with the 10-yard curl. Jalen, come on, baby. It's all us, Jalen. That's all us. Defense, Daniel, come on, man. Defense, baby. No huddling. Now run your two wheels. Book. Yes, sir. Back it up. Take your three. Take away the wheels. Make him pass from the pocket. It gets ugly. I promise you. Now drive down and get seven. Oh, a little check down. Oh, nice little 14 yard pickup. He's just backing everyone up, trying not to get bombed. We can check down underneath and just take our guaranteed yards here. Bad spin move. That was bad. That was bad. My fault. My fault. Oh, yeah. He's pressing. Let's go. Bombs away, Reek. Bombs away, Reek. Ah, uh, tight end open, though. Chenault. Man, Reek is such a threat. He's like really over. I, now, granted, we have used Reek quite a bit this game, but I feel like he's really overthinking. I feel like he's really overthinking it, honestly. I feel like you got to be aggressive. You got to press. You got to blitz. And then just like, uh, I just, whatever he's doing is not working. Even with him backing up all these guys, like Reek is still getting open deep down the field. Here comes the blitz. That's fine. That's fine, baby. No, we have Tyreek Hill for a touchdown in the post. Maybe just made the read a little bit too late. Pressure got there. Mm. Oh, wow. Just got screamed at by the three-man rush. Going to have to kick here. Right down the middle. I'm going to go ahead and onside kick here so we can't shoot clock against us. That's a tough break, man. We were really cooking on offense. Had the touchdown on, I believe, first down. Just couldn't get the ball off in time. Bad run call on second, honestly. And then on third down, just, um, I don't know, just defense. Defensive pressure went crazy on only a three-man rush. Against two post-ups, which I feel like shouldn't be happening, but it did. So all we can really do now is get a stop. Okay, that actually works. Now we can't be clocked. We're going to have a guaranteed money drive. And hopefully we can get stingy down here at home with three. Pick! Come on, Storm Duck! Don't go out of the end zone. Oh, it wouldn't let me. I lost full control of my player. It just uh, broke me out of the end zone. But listen, that's an absolute book right there, man. Perfect user. We just got to get a first down or two. Let me get some breathing room here. Definitely got to run on the first play. The blocks, and we trip over air, man. The turf monster got us. Still a decent little pickup. Get some breathing room. We can definitely pass here from nine. I think I'm going to go up top, too, man. I think we're going up top. Never mind. Never mind. Show off the mobility, Trevor. Let's go. Come on. Look at Creed. Look at Creed Humphrey. Creed. Oh, pancaking everyone in his way. Out to the 50. Two more first downs, man. Two more. There we go. Second and short. Love to see it. Let's take this to the two. 
We actually need one more touchdown with Trevor, too, to get the goal. I'm not really going to, like, sabotage myself here at the end of the game trying to go try to go get that, but it's something in the back of our heads. If we have a free touchdown, definitely going to take it. Come on. Come on, Clyde. Is that a first? First down. Let's go, Clyde. Love to see it, man. Being in bounds, but unfortunately we end up going out of bounds. It stops the clock. But that's still really good, man. That's still really good. I think three runs here is probably the play call, I'm going to be honest. I might have had the touchdown of the streak on the left, too. Am I blind? I literally stared down the corner out the whole time. It just looked like it was going to be open. Great run. If we can pick up the first, it's over. What are we at here? What are we at here, boys? Second and in inches. I'm going to go toss to the right here. I like the look. The block. Clyde's out of here, man. Let's go. Come on, Clyde. Let's go, man. <laughs> Almost got there, man. Almost got there. I don't know. Why would he? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Come on, man. Let's go. GG's. Ah, Drew. Drew. All right, boys, that is going to do it, man. That was a really stressful game. I'm going to be honest. I hate playing that guy. It is just run with the quarterback and throw two wheels every play. Two things that are virtually unstoppable in Madden 22. Like, you can man them up. You can lowball them inside if you do it perfectly. You know, there are some things you can do to slow them down, but completely stopping them, like, almost out of the question. I feel like we made some really nice adjustments in the second half. We went to a defense that pretty much exclusively stops the skate artist with the linebacker looping on the contain as opposed to the normal DB fire that I run. So we kind of kept them in the pocket for the most part, you know, for the last three quarters, two and a half quarters. We took away the wheel routes, manned up both of them. He still threw them a few times, but you know, we had good coverage. They weren't super comfortable throws. So I really like the way we adjusted there on defense in the second half. Again, can't stop those two things, but you can try to slow them down. And we really did a great job of that there in the second half. Things were kind of stacked against us, man. I got tilted early. You know, some really unfortunate things just kind of seemed like he might run away with the game. We fought all the way back, man. We take the two possession victory. And now we're probably going to lock up the two seed or the one seed, excuse me, in the AFC as long as we can win out the rest of our games. And I don't think our schedule is that difficult for the remainder of the season. Daniil Hunter gets an upgrade right here. Daniil Hunter, ever since I traded for him, hasn't really made a lot of noise, but he came up with a huge sack in that game to hold my opponent to three late. That was absolutely big for us right there. Week 14, we have our bye. Week 15, we play the 0 and 11 Chargers. Then we play the Seahawks. So that's David T. That guy's actually pretty solid right there. We have some messages to take a quick look at here. Plus five morale for QB Trevor Lawrence, man. A really solid all around performance, man. I'm absolutely stoked with that one. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. With that being said, I will see you guys in week 16, probably against the Seahawks, man. Peace.